Well, that escalated quickly. So, uh, I just explain on you the on the overdrive system that is in these Spitfires. So, this is a '77. There's two different overdrive types. I do know that, and I don't know where they went to this one, but this is the last one they did. This is the second version of the Overdrive. There is another version of the Overdrive that came before this. But this is the, you know, 80, and I don't know where, but started sometime before 77. I'm pretty sure. So, no clue. But, I do know how it functions, and that is what I'm going to be showing. So that way you know what to do. Yours doesn't work. You know what you should be looking at. Alright. So I guess we should start here. Right, let's start at the front and work our way back. This makes more sense. Alright. So you get a keyed ignition source coming off your harness. Okay. There's a keyed ignition source. One of these wires is a keyed ignition source. And one of them is just, say, a ground, pretty much. So one of these, when you turn on the key, should have 12 volts. Or it should have voltage, is what I'm saying. So as long as you voltage here, when it turns on, you know this wire particularly is good. If you voltage after here, when it turns on, you know this is all good. But... Basically, ground power supply to the system. And then back in there, we can just get back in here. Uh, okay, so. Let's show you the wire. Here's the wire. You see it going back in there? I'm going to get in the car now and show you where the wire is. This is both, I'm going to show where both of them go. They're both right there. So let me get in there. Show you where those two guys go. One's a power, one's kind of like a ground. I, we're going to just say it is a ground. That's what I think it is. So, that's the way I understand it anyways. Uh, we're getting in here. And the easiest way to get to it really is just take your tunnel out. You can drop the tranny, but it's hard to do from the bottom in these cars. Um, pretty much take tranny out, you're pretty much going to either be taking the motor out or you're going to be pulling the tunnel. A lot of guys like me will just pull the tunnel, especially for something small like this. And mine leaks, as you can tell. So, wiring. Here's our wiring we were just showing you. It comes in. And where does it go? Well, it goes in this harness right here. You see that? It goes right in there. And then this guy splits off. So these guys here, think of this as just an on-off switch. That's what it is. That is a safety switch attached to the tranny. So all it is is an on-off. So if you see this rod... This rod hits that switch based on which gears you're in. So, say I'm in first. Okay, it's not going to turn that, it's not going to hit that switch to make the contacts touch inside the switch and move the circuit, obviously. Like an on-off switch works. So then, second, it still should not be making the switch move power. And then when you go to third, now the switch should be engaged. And then when you go to fourth, it should also be engaged. These overdrive, this overdrive particularly, the one in this car, is designed to be engaged in third and in fourth. So you should be able to have, it should engage that safety switch in third and fourth, and then no other gear. Not reverse, not in first, not in second. And now we're in neutral. So... Um, 
Then, once you get past that safety switch, if you get if you have electrical current going through that just fine, then your power should get down here. Now, um, the way I understand it is, uh, if you get past the safety switch, then the power comes up here and goes to your on-off switch on your knob here. So, this is literally just, it's just like the headlight switch. On, off. There's nothing else to it. So you flip it when it says in. It's and that's the switch on, out, off. I would think that's self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. So there's no confusion. So that's all that is. This wire is just the two wires to the switch. If you know how an on-off switch works, you know it's gonna have two wires. So this over here. This is a part of the safety switch mechanism. Um, yeah, that's what it is. So, as long as your connections are good here, 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 and your switch is good up here, all of this can be ruled out right away. All of it. The knob and these wires here should be completely fine as long as the wires are good and the connections are good. And I just taped mine together to keep them, make them more waterproof. I taped my bolt connectors together to make them more waterproof and make them not pull apart. And then, literally if you get through all that, if the power goes from the safety switch, through the safety switch, through your switch on your knob, it's going to then go down here until your solenoid and activate your solenoid. And it's wired up to where it, the ground is... Is that wire right there it just goes literally right to the case of the transmission power right here literally comes up into your harness right up here boom it goes right to your switch and that's all there is to it it's really pretty simple and I'm gonna show you uh, the clicking noise she makes when she's working right I don't know if you're able to hear it though because of my electric fuel pump, but we'll try. Crazy. I know I can hear it. Alright, so I'm going to show you first. First, you don't hear anything, do you? Good, you shouldn't. Second, you don't hear anything. Shouldn't. Good, you don't hear anything. That's right. Now we're going third. Oh shit. This is working earlier. Hang on. Well, boys. Looks like I'm going to troubleshoot this real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> and we're back. I got some really cool news. Listen to this. Damn it, it's not clicking now. Fret key. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm going to get you down there right next to the solenoid. It's clicking. Fourth gear. Ready? You're looking directly at the solenoid. It's covered in oil, I know, but it's clicking. She is operating. Solenoid is working. Alright, so, yep. There you go. It's supposed to be like um, all I did to get her working was a ground. I just added a new ground. I just got rid of the old ground. I'm not even going to use it. I put a new ground on there. And, uh, 
boom, new ground, and that was really it, other than I put the switch in better, and I'm going to have to redo the wiring and going up there, but other than that, we're good to go. So, I think we're ready to rock and roll, everybody. There you have it. Said he's on Triumph. Spit by 1500 overdrive. Functioning. That's how it functions. Well, that's it. I'll be back with more junk on this thing, I'm sure. I got a lot left to do. Because look who's still out. Yep, haven't finished that yet. Got the easy joint. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye.